I'm Kalyan. This Hello everyone, and I am Kalyan. This video is a demo for my IoT project titled Vehicular Health Monitoring with Electric Vehicle Range Prediction and Route Planning. As the name suggests, this module has uh, this project has three modules. First one is uh, for a, a neural network based vehicular health monitoring system. The second one is a machine learning based electric vehicle range predictor and then followed by a simulation model for the route planning so in this video i'll walk through each of the modules and their output for the vehicular health monitoring we are using a rnn based neural network model so the data set for the training process we got from kickle.com which consists of 20000 measurements of uh, different vehicles and sensors data so the data is a uh, the data set is organized as follows first column is the engine id then there is a number of cycles so uh, that the engine run followed by the engine settings and the sensor data so for the pre-processing of the data set we get the maximum number of cycles that a particular id can run then we get the remaining life cycles and then uh, we compare it with the given threshold for the number of life cycles to check uh, if the vehicle is above or below that threshold. So the neural network is a LSTM based RNN. So the data is for pre-processed using a min-max scalar, and the it is uh, trained upon the sensor various sensor values and the various engine settings. And the target parameter is our uh, threshold. So to check whether if it is above or below that threshold. So the LSTM uh, stru is structured as follows. We have an input layer followed by an LSTM layer with 100 units. And then uh, to avoid uh, overfitting, we have a dropout layer of 20% raw. Then followed by another LSTM layer of 50 units. Again, uh, followed by a 20% dropout layer, then a dense layer with a sigmoid activation function. So, the overall uh, system is uh, optimized by Adam Optimizer. So, coming to the implementation on uh, Python. So, for the training purposes, we have a training data set. So which contains all the settings, engine ID, then followed by the sensor values. You can see the head of it here. And then followed by a data set for the testing purposes. So then we have the pre-processing here. So within which we calculate the total number of uh, cycles that are remaining for the engine. And then uh, we use that to predict whether the engine falls above or below a certain threshold and set a label based on that. Now we train the model based on that uh, inputs. The label is our output to be trained, and the inputs that inputs are the engine settings and the, the sensor values. So the model is uh, trained. So the first LSTM layer has 100 units, then followed by a dropout layer. The second LSTM layer has 50 units. Uh, followed by another dropout layer and the dense layer which is the optimization layer so it has the sigmoid activation function so the model achieved an uh, overall accuracy of 97 percent which is good and then here we have uh, given a test input so the machine id is 16 so it uh, predicts the probability of uh, failure of the machine with the ID16 for the particular instant of uh, sensor readings. So it says that uh, the machine is 43%, there is a 43% chance of uh, failure of the machine. Now coming to the second module, which is the electric vehicle range predictor. So we have a machine learning uh, algorithm which takes in input parameters uh, like the vehicle speed, vehicle maximum rated power, battery capacity and such things to estimate uh, the range of the travel. So for this we are uh, using uh, different kinds of machine learning algorithms like linear regressor, SVM, 
polynomial regressor and random forest. I'll show that. So as you can see, this is the data set uh, that we have created. So it has a model vehicle model, rated power, maximum power, top speed, battery capacity, and such things. This is the range uh, present in the data set. So these are our training inputs, and these is our uh, uh, range to be predicted. So within here uh, we are filling the gaps within the data set using the mean values. As you can see here, we implemented it using a linear regressor. We tested it. So the blue line signifies the true value. And the y, the orange line signifies the predicted value. So this plot shows the difference between those two. And then uh, the mean squared error followed by a random forest implementation followed by polynomial regressor based uh, implementation of the same and then the support vector machine now this graph uh, shows you the mean squared error so as you can see the random forest regressor has least mean squared error which means that it has the best performance so for our further implementation we are only using random forest within now here we have uh, given an input as x in so with the power of 800 maximum power of 1900 top speed battery capacity and charging time so it predicted the random forest which is a best match predicted its range to be 79.5 kilometer which is a true to 5 percent of error so it performs well and now we use uh, this machine learning block within our range predictor you can see uh, the so we take the source input destination point input and then uh, we find the path using a star algorithm for the car to travel uh, so the path should always be less than the predicted range so if not then we need to stop at uh, certain destinations to charge our vehicle and then move on with our path so this simulation model uh, shows you the clear uh, path to reach your destination along with the charging station that you need to charge so the details of uh, the charging station is constantly updated and monitored within a real-time database we are using uh, firebase here so now we will uh, quickly run that module Uh, this is the firebase uh, database in which you can see here uh, there are uh, charging stations one two three and the availability flag uh, indicates the number of charging points available at any point of time the total indicates the number of uh, total number of available uh, total number of points present in that charging station so now as you can see here uh, the, uh, the car started at a point and then it will move down to the charging station 2 for charging at the same time the availability flag is uh, reduced by 1 which signifies that there is a car at the, that particular station so the battery percentage is increasing now so when it reaches 100 the availability is updated increased by 1 then the car moves on with its path and it goes to charging station 3 for charging so now you can see the availability flag is being reduced by one then it's charging up to 100 percent and then moves on into onto its path so this path is a uh, dynamic and it changes based on the charging stations uh, availability and so so i will also try to change the starting point and then uh, we'll uh, see the so I'll change the car initial point to be 149,195. Now we'll run this. Okay.
now the model says not possible to reach the destination so which is a true because it started out it started out somewhere here and for it to reach the charging station 1 there was no possibility because the availability flag is set to 0 so it is not possible for it uh, to reach the destination so it showed that we will update this and we will run again so this time around it started somewhere here and it's going on to reach its charging station 1 so previously it was a uh, the charging station was not available so it cannot uh, travel all the way from year to year so it showed uh, it is not possible for you to reach the destination but now when the charging station is available it took the nearest path to reach it and then followed by another uh, charging point at the uh, charging station 3 so you can see the availability is being updated charges to 100% and then leaves the station now the availability is updated then the car leaves so this is all with my project thank you